Hey guys, Mo Morales here. Happy Sunday. <clears throat> Just wanted to put a quick video together. Uh, nothing going on much. It was too hot for me to get out and do anything this weekend. It's been a rough week with my MS. So I thought, you know, getting out and putting myself in this heat was just gonna make things worse. So I kind of took it easy this weekend, did a little cooking, did a little um, YouTube watching, but nothing photography wise, basically because ultimately I'm really waiting to see what Sony's going to do with that A7 IV. I'm really excited for it, I really am. I think I love my A7C, but I didn't buy it for professional reasons, right? I bought it for a full frame street camera, which I kind of had with the a7 III, but I didn't want to use my a7 III on the streets because it was my work camera and I don't like mixing the two. I, we covered this last time. So I love the a7C. I really, really want to see what the a7 IV looks like. If the a7 IV isn't so impressive, it's going to drop the price of the a7 III down in the used market a little bit more. So then maybe I'll just pick up an a7 III again because in it's it's what 2017 it's it's almost four or five year old camera now and it's it's still an amazing camera you, you can't go wrong with what you get from the a7 III so we're gonna wait for the a7 IV if it's amazing we're gonna jump on it you know hopefully if it's amazing and still right at 2000 a little over a little under the a7 III came out at 19.99 at one point. Same thing with the a7C, it was at 17.99. And this is body only, obviously. This is what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with that. I've been looking at the Nikon Z5 as well. A lot of people have been pushing me to look at it on my Instagram and someone even on my Twitter, if you guys don't know, I have I do have a Twitter handle, which I rarely use. It's it's at Mo Morales for photos. Um, and yeah, I, I rarely use it, but someone even reached out to me on there letting me know about the Nikon Z5. And everything about it looks fine. It, it would be a perfect photo camera uh, for me. I, I don't do events and I don't need the high bursts. You know, the most I would do with it would be portraits and um, that's it, portraits, boudoir work, anything along that line. So it has the dual memory card slots that I, ha I want. It doesn't have the expensive QXD cards. It has the normal SD cards with the um, high speed capacity, which could be what I need, could be what I need. And then I really wanted to look at Canon, I really did, but the R6 is the lowest price point they have, and it's still more, it's still too expensive, I think, for 20 megapixels. It's too expensive, mega 20 megapixels, and then their the, the true RF lenses are kind of expensive, you know? The thing about the Nikon is that there's an adapter that you can actually use Sony lenses on that body, as well as the Nikon lens system with its Z adapter, the Nikkor lens system is just so deep and so well stocked between third party lenses, Nikon lenses. It would be the way to go. I, I mean, I'm sure you're probably saying the same thing about Canon, but the Z5 starts at right around $1,500 or lower and the R6 starts at about 21, 22, and I, said, I don't wanna spend that much. I'm sure I could find it used, I'm always good at finding stuff used, but I'm making excuses, that's it. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm making excuses. I don't, I want, I want Canon, but I want it at, a, at an introductory price. I want it 1700 or less to get into the body, if that's the way I would go. But then again, there's nothing super impressive about Canon right now. And I want to do it just because I've never had an elevated full frame modern Canon. You know, at one point I actually looked at the Mark uh, 5D Mark IV 
and the Mark D Mark III, the the 5D Mark III, because I just love the colors that Omar would get from those cameras. So I've looked at those, but then I, I also have to be realistic. I need something mirrorless, which is lightweight, to be full frame. It's just it's just you know first world gas problems that I have, and I completely admit that. And if you've been listening to me all these uh, months, you know that's exactly what it is. It's just a guy who wants to get a camera just to get a camera. But in this case, something's on the GoPro here. In this case, it's really because if I start doing more professional work like I have been, I really don't want to have the, two, the single memory card. And that's what it is. And the Mark and the Z5 would scratch that itch. It wouldn't have the single memory card it has great color. It has good, good autofocus. It doesn't have Sony autofocus, but it has good autofocus. This is why I started the video stating I'm waiting to see what the A7 IV offers. Hmm, who could that be? Also, people who know me for my phones, I had the OnePlus uh, 7, I'm sorry, the OnePlus 9 Pro for months now. And I wasn't, I wasn't happy with it, honestly. And I just kept, you know, keeping on, keeping it because I wanted to like it more because I've always loved OnePlus phones, the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 7T, the OnePlus 8, the OnePlus 8 Pro, the OnePlus 8T, all solid phones. But their new flagship, the 9 Pro, it kept overheating on me. Um, the camera just never, ever satisfied my photography needs. It, it didn't have enough reach on the zoom. It didn't have, it never had that punch, the oomph. I like my cell phone pictures to be straight out of camera. Sometimes you adjust the shadows, you adjust this, but, but not too much work. It's, it's, a, it's a cell phone. You want to point and shoot. That's what it is. So I ended up going back to the S21 Ultra and I should have never left. I, the photos coming out of that camera have always been amazing. The zoom, as, as you know, it has the um, super zoom. What is it called? The, um, oh, this time they didn't put the thing on the back, but it has a hundred times zoom with optical zoom. It's got a 10 times, no, a hundred times digital zoom and a 10 times optical zoom, which on a camera, on a cell phone, is unheard of. And that's what I had when I got it back in January, and I should have never left it for the OnePlus. That's about it. I'm gonna go pick up some food, I'm starving, and uh, just wanted to figure, turn on this stuff, test a couple of things, see how this new microphone setup sounds on the GoPro. It's, you know, I'm using the Alonzi G9 4 cage for the nine, um, the G9 Pro. I'm sorry, the GoPro 9, the G9 Pro. And I'm, I'm wearing a new system on the microphone with a little lavalier hidden. And I just wanted to make sure it sounded better. It's an improvement to the GoPro sound, which to me was never bad anyway. But I think anytime you can improve the sound quality on anything, you should take a shot. So that's what I did. Took a shot. Let me know if you even notice a difference on the quality of the audio from this video to my last video and if you didn't watch my last video it's just me talking in the car join me in that chat too and, and let me know if you notice a difference in the quality of the audio because if, if, if it's not worth it I'll, I'll just send everything back and keep the gopros audio all right guys thanks again for chatting with me this weekend and until our next chat be good